Hey everyone, welcome back to Earth YT. Today we're diving into some mind-blowing fun facts about our incredible planet Earth. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed. We'll journey through the blue hues of our home, listen to the Earth's hum, peer at the Great Wall from space, unearth buried treasures, and even lighten up on Mount Everest. Each fact is a testament to the marvel that is Earth, a planet teeming with surprises. So, are you ready to explore? Let's get started. Did you know that Earth is the only planet in our solar system that appears blue from space? But why is that? We might take for granted the blue skies overhead, but have you ever stopped to ponder why our planet appears this way from the cosmos? The answer lies in a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. Named after the British scientist Lord Rayleigh, this is the process that causes the scattering of light or other electromagnetic radiation by particles much smaller than the wavelength of the light. Here's how it works. When sunlight reaches Earth, it's made up of different colors, each with its own wavelength. Blue and violet light have the shortest wavelengths and are scattered in all directions by the gases and particles in Earth's atmosphere. This scattering process, combined with the human eye's sensitivity to blue light, gives our sky its classic blue appearance when viewed from the ground. Now let's take a step back, way back, and view our planet from space. From this perspective, Earth takes on a brilliant blue hue. This is because the scattered light reaching our eyes, or the lens of a space camera, is predominantly blue, or a shade of azure. But what about the oceans, you might ask? They cover over 70% of Earth's surface and are also a big contributor to our planet's blueness. Water absorbs colors in the red part of the light spectrum more than colors in the blue part of the spectrum. When sunlight hits the ocean, some of it is absorbed, but the rest is reflected back. This reflected light is what we see and it's mostly blue because of the water's absorption properties. So, next time you see a picture of Earth from space, you'll know why our world shines with a beautiful azure glow. It's the result of a delicate dance between sunlight, our atmosphere, and the vast oceans. A celestial ballet that makes Earth a unique and breathtaking blue marble in the vastness of space. Have you ever heard of Earth's hum? It turns out our planet is quite the musician. Now we're not talking about the everyday noises we're accustomed to, the rustling of trees, the chirping of birds, or even the roar of a city. No, this is something much more subtle, something that's happening all the time even as we speak. The Earth, believe it or not, is humming, and it's been doing so for millions of years. Scientists have discovered that our planet emits a constant low-frequency hum, almost inaudible to human ears. This hum is not due to human activity or any known seismic activities, but is a natural occurrence. So what causes this intriguing phenomenon? Imagine the Earth as a gigantic bell. When you strike a bell, it vibrates and produces sound. Similarly, our planet is continuously vibrating at very low frequencies, creating this humming sound. And just like how different factors can affect the sound of a bell, various elements can influence Earth's hum. One of the leading theories suggests that ocean waves are the primary conductors of this symphony. As waves crash against the seafloor, they generate seismic waves that travel through the Earth, causing it to vibrate and produce this hum. Another theory points to atmospheric pressure variations. Changes in pressure can cause the Earth's crust to expand and contract slightly, creating vibrations that contribute to the hum. It's fascinating to think about, isn't it? Our Earth, this massive celestial body we call home, is continuously humming its own background tune, a song that's been playing for billions of years. It's a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. So, even in silence, our planet is always humming its own tune. Just another reason why Earth is such a remarkable and unique place in the vast expanse of the cosmos. Here's a fun one. The Great Wall of China is visible from space, but it's not as easy to spot as you might think. This centuries-old fortification, sprawling over 13,000 miles, is often touted as the only man-made structure visible from space with the naked eye. But is it really? Astronauts who've had the chance to gaze down at Earth from the International Space Station have differing opinions. Some say it's possible to see the Great Wall, but only under very specific conditions. You need a perfect combination of weather, lighting, and a highly trained eye to pick out the wall amidst Earth's intricate landscape. In fact, Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield, who orbited Earth in 2013, once shared that despite the wall's fame, other human-made structures like cities and airports are much easier to spot from space. And if we delve into the science of it, the Great Wall, being just a few meters wide, is near the limit of human visual acuity from low Earth orbit. 
So, while you might see it from space, it's more akin to trying to spot a hair from two miles away. So, while it may not be as visible as some believe, the Great Wall of China is still an impressive sight from space. This ancient testament to human ingenuity, snaking its way across mountains and deserts, is a reminder of our species' remarkable ability to reshape the world. Hidden beneath our feet are treasures. But we're not talking about buried pirate gold. We're talking about a different kind of treasure, one that falls from the sky. Yes, you heard that right. Every year our planet is bombarded by about 17 meteorites. Now, you may think of meteorites as just chunks of rock hurtling through space, but they're a lot more than that. They're rich with valuable elements that tell the story of our universe. These celestial bodies are composed of different materials, many of which are found right here on Earth. They contain elements like iron, nickel, and even trace amounts of precious metals like gold and platinum. However, what makes them truly valuable is not their monetary worth but the scientific knowledge they offer. By studying meteorites, scientists can learn about the conditions in the early solar system, giving us a glimpse into our cosmic past. But how do these meteorites end up on Earth? Well, they're leftovers from the early solar system, remnants of the process that formed our planet and its neighbors. As they journey through space, they occasionally cross paths with Earth, and some of them survive the fiery plunge through our atmosphere to land on the surface. Once they land, they become part of Earth's crust, buried over time by natural processes. So, in a way, our planet is like a giant collector of cosmic treasures, gathering bits of the universe and preserving them in its crust. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? Our planet is not just a home for us, but a repository of cosmic history, a vault filled with celestial treasures. Each meteorite holds a story, a piece of the puzzle of our universe. So, even though we might not see them, we're living on a planet rich with celestial treasures. It's a reminder of our place in the cosmos, a testament to the wonders of the universe that are right here under our feet. Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, has a peculiar feature that you might not know about. This gigantic natural skyscraper, standing majestically at about five and a half miles high, is not just a wonder to behold, but also a marvel of physics. You see, the mass of this mountain is so enormous that it affects the local gravitational field. Here's the fun part. If you were to stand at its peak, you'd be technically lighter than at sea level. This is because the gravitational pull decreases as you move away from the center of the Earth. Hence, due to Everest's height, the pull is slightly weaker at its summit. So the mountain's colossal mass and height have a combined effect that can make your weight drop by a tiny fraction. Fascinating, isn't it? So if you're looking to lose a bit of weight, maybe a trip to Everest is in order. And there you have it, some fun and fascinating facts about our amazing planet. We've journeyed from the striking blue hues that make Earth distinct in our solar system, to the mysterious hum of our planet that serves as its unique symphony. We've marveled at the Great Wall of China's visibility from space, and unearthed the hidden treasures that meteorites bring us each year. And who can forget the gravitational quirk at the peak of Mount Everest that makes you a tad bit lighter? These are but a glimpse into the marvels our planet holds. If you've enjoyed this adventure, do hit that like button and subscribe for more intriguing content. Got a favorite Earth fact that wasn't mentioned? Or maybe a question that's been bugging you? Feel free to share it in the comments below. We're all here to learn and discover. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.